Cubbies. Welcome back. Today we have with us Cubby the Bear. Hi, Cubbies. Hey, I was just thinking, there is a song I hear you sing all week, and I can't remember the words. I just know it goes something like this. We are a one. Uh, uh, uh. See, that's why I lose it. Oh, Cubbies, do you guys recognize that song that Cubby the Bear was singing? Yeah, could it possibly be our Awana Cubbies song? Yeah, can you guys try singing it with me? We are Awana Cubbies, we're happy all day long. We know that Jesus loves us, that's why we sing this song. We hop because we're happy and we jump and shout for joy. For Jesus is a friend to us, he loves each boy and girl. Boys and girls, that was great. I love that part about hopping and jumping. You know how much I like to hop and jump when I'm excited. Thank you so much, boys and girls. I really love that song. Ruff, ruff. Hi, everybody. Did I just hear singing? <laughs> yeah, Katie, you did. The kids were singing the Cubby song for Cubby the Bear. Oh, good. I like songs. I know a song about an old man and a dog. It goes like this. This old man, he played one. He played knick-knack on my thumb with a knick-knack paddywhack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. <laughs> Katie, that was such a funny song. Yeah, I like the part about giving a dog a bone. Sometimes Timothy gives me a bone when I do one of my dog tricks for him. Cubbies, could you sing your song for me? Cubbies, can we sing our cubby song again? Yeah, let's do it. We are a one of cubbies, we're happy all day long. We know that Jesus loves us, that's why we sing this song. We hop because we're happy and we jump and shout for joy. For Jesus is a friend to us, he loves each girl and boy. Do, 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 do. That was great singing, guys. Man, we love to hear you sing. Ah, hello, boys and girls. I was eating grass outside, and then I heard some singing. It sounded like such a happy song. Hmm. At first, I thought it was the birds singing, but I didn't see any birds. Do you know who was singing? It was, it was the children, lovey. They just sang a song for me and Katie Collie. Oh, could I hear it too? Pretty please, I love to hear songs. Kids, can we sing our cubby song one more time? Yeah? All right, let's do it. We are a one of cubbies, we're happy all day long. We know that Jesus loves us, that's why we sing this song. We hop because we're happy and we jump and shout for joy. For Jesus is a friend to us, he loves each girl and boy. Do, 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 do. Thank you so much, cubbies. That song makes me so happy. Oh, Lovey, we're happy to share it with you, aren't we, Cubbies? Yeah. Well, if you come back next week, we can sing it for you again. How does that sound? That would be great. I'm going to eat some more grass now. See you later. <laughs> yeah. Bye, boys and girls. Thanks for singing your song. I'll see you next week. Can you guys wave goodbye? Goodbye, Cubby. Goodbye, lovey. <laughs> wow, you guys are some great singers. I know that we've never sang that song together, but you guys sang it so well, and you've been hearing it every week. So I'm really, really proud of the work that you guys did. Well, how about we sing some more songs? How does that sound? Yeah? All right, 
I think you guys know this one. Let's sing it together. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels that we bore him, heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Amen. Oh yeah. Amen. Oh yeah. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him, heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Whoa, Cubbies, you did fantastic at that song. Good, good job. Next, we're going to sing another song that we have been singing recently. So, we sing this quite a bit. Are you ready? My little children, God is love, God is love. Praise Him, praise Him, my little children, God is love, God is love. Love Him, love Him, my little children, God is love, God is love. Love him, love him, my little children. God is love, God is love. Thank him, thank him, my little children. God is love, God is love. Thank him, thank him, my little children. God is love, God is love. Good job, cubbies. You did a fantastic job at that as well. Well, next we are going to sing Trust and Obey. So that song that we just sang was Praise Him, Praise Him, All You Little Children. And this next one, we're just going to sing the chorus of a hymn, which hymns are old songs that are found um, in books with a lot of other songs in them. And we use hymns at church a lot of the time to worship God. And so this is the chorus of a hymn, Trust and Obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Can we do that one more time? Yeah? Trust and obey. For there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Good job, Cubbies. You did a fantastic job with that. Well, next we're going to pray and start getting into our Bible lesson today. But the thing about our Bible lesson is that it's a little different than normal because we're not gonna learn a new Bible story. We're going to review, which means go over everything that we've done in the past. So we're going to review all of Unit 2. Can you believe that we're already finished with Unit 2? That's insane. We've spent so much time together. It's super exciting. And today we're going to review all that. But before we do so, remember, before we get into God's Word, we are going to pray. And today we're going to ask God and we're going to thank Him. This past week was Thanksgiving, and so we're going to thank him for everything that he's done for us and that everything that he's going to do for us, and we're going to ask him to open our ears and our hearts and our minds so that we can learn from him today, all right? But remember, we are going to pray, and we close our eyes, and we bow our heads, and we put our hands, and we fold them, and we put them in our lap, all right? Can you guys do that right now? Close your eyes, bow your head, hold your hands and put them in your lap. And that's just so we're not looking at anything else, not paying attention to anything else. We're going to focus on God. All right, go ahead and pray with me. 
Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day and thank you so much for these cubbies. We celebrated Thanksgiving this past week and we just want to remind, or remind ourselves and thank you for everything that you've done for us, for sending Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. We know that we don't deserve you and your love, but you give it to us anyway and we are so thankful for that. I pray for these cubbies and that they will have their ears open, and that they will listen to what you have to tell them today. It's in your name we pray. Amen. And all my cubbies said, amen. Good job, cubbies. Well, next we're going to do a little bit of review. So I'm going to show you some of the cards that we've looked at over the course of this unit. And you're going to kind of work with me on what happened in these cards. You see this card? What's going on here? That's an idol, remember? These people are worshiping the idols. Was that something that we learned was good or bad? If you put your thumb down, you're right. It's not good at all to be worshiping idols because we know that there is only one true God. And Elijah was a prophet, which means that he was sent to the people to tell them about God's true word, all right? And Elijah came and told the people, there is no other God besides the one true God. You guys are doing something very bad by worshiping other idols. But you know what? Did the people listen to him? What do you remember? Did the people listen to him? No, they didn't like to listen to him at all and they went ahead and kept worshiping their other gods and it got so bad that Elijah was like you know what I'm gonna put your god to the test and you guys are gonna put my god to the test so we are going to ask both our gods because Elijah knew that his was only true god and only the true god could do this he was like we're gonna put gods our gods to the test whichever god can send fire from heaven he is the one true god well, Elijah knew that these people would do all that they could to get their their father, or their God, to rain fire down, but that it wouldn't work out. And that's exactly what happened. All these people, they danced and they flailed their arms and they put meat on the altar trying to entice their God, trying to get their God to send fire down. But did it work? It didn't work at all. Well, Elijah, he was like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go one step further and I'm going to make it my altar so wet because he knew that wet wood wouldn't burn, right? And whatever was on his altar wouldn't burn up if it was wet unless the fire was sent from the one true God. And so he made it everything so wet. And do we remember, did God send fire down or no? He did, didn't he? fire rained from heaven. And Elijah said, that happened because my God is the one true God. And everyone knew that he was telling the truth. Some of them bowed down and worshiped one true God. Well, then we also read a story about three guys, their names being Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And they lived in a time where there was a greedy king. And the greedy king wanted everyone to just worship him. And so he said, no one can worship any other God but the gods that I have laid before them and me. And so he gave the people a giant idol to worship. He gave them this idol and the people, they bowed down and they worshiped it, except for three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They refused to worship the idol and to worship anybody but the one true God. And you know what happened? King Nebuchadnezzar, he got so angry that he said that Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego were to be put, put into a fire, a fire that was so hot that anybody that was even outside the fire burnt up. So it was super, super hot and super, super dangerous. Were Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, were they afraid? Maybe a little bit but they did it and they trusted that they would be protected by God. And if they weren't gonna be protected by God, then they knew that they were gonna spend eternity with God anyway, so it was okay. Well, Shadrach, Meshach, and again, Bendigo, when they went into the fiery furnace, what happened? The people looked in there and they saw three people 
But not only that, they saw one more person. So they saw four people total, four people in the fiery furnace. Who was that fourth person? Do we know? Was it Jesus? Yeah? That's exactly right. Jesus was in there and he was protecting them. And you know what? They were able to leave the fiery furnace without any part of them having burnt, been burnt up. Not a single hair on their head, not their fingers or their toes, not even their clothes had been singed. They looked as though they hadn't been touched by the fire at all. And after that happened, King Nebuchadnezzar knew, he knew that there was only the one true God. Isn't that amazing? God can use people to do amazing things and God can use you to do amazing things too. Well, remember copies, God told the Israelites to build a big and beautiful temple. Remember, a temple is kind of like our church. And this is a place where they could go to worship. But God gave the Israelites a warning and he was very serious when he gave them this warning. He said, do not worship any other gods but me. All right, and he was very serious. And you know what the Israelites did? They did worship other gods. And God said he would make them leave the very special land that he gave them if he, they did that. And the beautiful temple would be burnt down and that would be a very sad day. Well, cubbies, there is only one true God and God wanted the Israelites to obey his commandments. Matthew 4 10 says, worship the Lord your God and serve him only. So cubbies, did the Israelites worship the one true God and only the one true God? Sadly, the Israelites did not. They chose to worship many false gods, like Baal, for instance, instead of worshiping the one true God. So God sent Elijah and the other prophets to remind the people of what he had told them and told them to obey and the people still didn't listen. They still didn't. Well, finally, because the Israelites disobeyed, they had to leave the special land that God had given them, the land of Canaan that God had given them. And an army took them far, far away to the land of Babylon. Can you guys say Babylon? Babylon. It's kind of a funny word, isn't it? And do you know what happened to their beautiful temple? The army burnt it down. And they pillaged. They went through it and they stole all their beautiful things. And it was a very, very sad time. But after 70 long years, God said the Israelites could come back. He said that they could come back to their special land and they were so happy. Can you guys show me your happy faces? Be happy like the Israelites. They were so happy because they could return to the special land that God had given them. And God helped them build a temple, a new temple again. And they were so happy. They were so happy. And Cubbies, do you think that after all of this, the Israelites started to obey God again? Do you think that they did? Do you think that they listened to God and tried obeying him this time? Well, they tried, but no matter how hard they tried, they couldn't obey God. Can you guys show me your sad faces? That's a very sad time, isn't it? They had a problem with sin. Can you guys say the word sin? Sin. S-I-N. And it's a problem we still have today. Romans 3.23 says, for all have sinned, and sin is anything that we think, it's anything that we say, and it's anything that we do that doesn't make God happy. Well, God still loved the Israelites, and he promised that at just the right time, he would send them a savior. He would send a savior to the Israelites, and that savior would be for us too, for you and for me. For our problem with sin, Jesus died on the cross, and then he came alive again after three days. So he died on the cross, but he didn't stay dead. 
he came back alive. And those who trust Jesus as their savior will be saved from their sin. Because sin separates us from God. God can't be near sin. But Jesus, through Jesus, we can be with God. Only if we believe that he is truly God's son, that he died on the cross, and that he rose again after three days. And one day, if we believe in Jesus and believe in all that he's done for us, and we make him the boss of our life, one day we will get to spend forever with Jesus. We will get to spend our lives with him. Once we trust Jesus as our savior, God helps us to worship and obey him. So it's going to be hard to worship and obey God sometimes, but God will help us. We worship God by showing love and respect to him because of what he did for us. We worship God anywhere, at any time. And Cubbies, what are some ways that we've talked about worshiping God? What about in this picture? We can worship God by reading our Bible, by praying. How about this? That's right. We can worship God by singing. And what about this one? We can worship God by giving our money, right? Giving a tithe. We can worship God by memorizing our Bible verses like we do each week. And we sing songs at Cubbies. That's a way to worship God right? We worship God when we respect him and treat him as an awesome God. Cubbies, what are some ways that you show respect to God? Well, when we bow our heads to pray, that's one way we show respect to God. And by believing what he says in the Bible, that's a way that we respect God. By being quiet and focusing on God during our lesson time and when we pray, that's a way that we focus and respect God. And by treating the church building that we go to and the other people that are in the building and other people that we meet with respect, that's a way that we show respect to God too. Well, Cubbies, that is all that we have for our unit two. And next week, we'll go ahead and move on to unit three three. But at this time, I believe that we have a Bible verse. Don't you? Yeah? So I'm going to get out my busy buzzing honeybee, and we say, busy buzzing honeybee, will you say your verse with me? And this week, our verse is Matthew 4.10. It says, worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Matthew 4.10, worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Busy buzzing honeybee, Will you say your verse with me? Matthew 4.10, worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Well, thank you so much, Cubbies. I am back in Cameron. I will be back in Cameron for quite a while. The rest of our Cubby year, I will be here. And the next Cubby connection you guys have, I'll be there too. So the last Cubby connection was, was with Pastor Terry. And this next one, I think that we'll both be there. So how exciting is that? I get to see you guys in person again, and we'll learn a new Bible story next week and at Cubby Connection. But I want to thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. I loved getting to see you today, and I'll see you again soon. All right. Bye, Cubbies. <laughs>